Hi girls, it's Jenny with Planner Perfect and in today's video, it's another plan with me. Stay tuned. Welcome back you guys. It is, we are just totally coming up on to December. I'm filming this right on like, what is this? The 29th. Um, we are close to December 1st. I am already diving into my December planner um, and starting with just some of my little last bits of November as we go into December. I can't wait to plan. Have you come with me while I um, go through the process of planning out my week? I've kind of got a little bit of it set up for ease, but definitely went through a lot of visualization process and vision of what I wanted for my week and all of that before I got on so I could share with you what exactly I have going on and what my vision is for my week. So I'm going to turn you around. Let's go. Okay, girls, I am in Sangria. She is actually available now in the store. Got a couple great little things, finds that are fun. This is Ollie Clip, of course. Um, this is from Etsy. Um, I'll try to remember to, to um, label some of their the shops I, I got these from. Um, this I got, this is Erin Condren. I found this on, Et, on Amazon. How cute is that? I also have the one that says plan. And then for my Bible, it says believe. I mean, can you believe it? Look at how cute, and it's a clip. I am in love. So I've got Believe, Create, and Plan. So cute. Um, I really like this. I'm not even kidding. Look at how cute it is. Dying. Okay, so I'm, I am, we are doing a plan with me. This is Sangria. The charms are available now, yay. Um, sangria looks very gorgeous to um, plan my Christmas in. I'm going to go right to, I'm not gonna go too heavy on all this because I'm doing separate videos for um, a lot of these. <clears throat> but I did prep my week and I got some of it done so it isn't, the, it isn't too lengthy. But I do have my December box in here. I've got my stickers and my tippins and my December um, you know, calendar in here. And I've got my journal, which I'm going to pre prep and get ready so that I can easily go in here and do my gratitude journaling and to do memory keeping. And then my 2022 uh, 12 month calendar is ready for me. I can't wait to share with you um, something about this pretty special in another video about how I've planned already for next Halloween and Thanksgiving. And here I have my, I have my gifts in, um, in her. And I actually, I, I am almost done girls. I, I think I've got two more things to get and it's just going to be just like extras. So I am like so done. And so I put this in here just so I could, I didn't need to do anything in great length with, um, uh, I just wrote down exactly what I was going to get just started checking off after I got it and I literally am done except maybe I have my husband to do and I am just thrilled. So um, I will be adding anything to here that I want to add or, or get and so I'm kind of excited about that. So that is what I have in my Christmas book. It, this is great to have because I can forward plan um, in January if I, in which I will be doing. Um, and so that that's really fun too. So anyway, that's what I have in my sangria. I'm going to go ahead and take her out so I can um, plan on a more flat surface with you guys. But I'm not going to get into my goal section because um, that's for another video. I got my all of my stuff in my um, calendar set out and ready to go, um, except I did do some in um, pencil because... Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from certain kids if they can come and so kind of don't know for sure. So I like to do, I like to do pencil for that. Here are my goals. I can't wait to share those with you in another video. Um, 
This is my week at a glance. So we're going to just go ahead and start here. I really have this completely packed. What I would, and this way I can go off of this and I can start to really map it out in my daily pages. So what I really want to express to you is, is that I was thinking, man, if I only went by this, if I only went by a week at a glance, I really honestly and truly would be a train wreck. Number one, my nose would always have to be in my planner. Because of the fact that it's a to-do list, I don't know how it's going to be intertwined within my day. Um, I I would feel like, honestly, I've been, this is the only way I've ever planned is, is the scripting method. Um, I've only long handed out my day. I've always done it this way. I've never lived by a to-do list. And let me tell you, it's frightening. You know how I hear people say, women say, I'm scared to, you know, to not write a to-do list. And I'm like, I'm scared um, to just go on a to-do list because I would feel like I would, it's an, I can't gauge if I'm moving forward. I can't gauge the entirety of my life where I'm at to see if I'm growing, expanding, moving forward. Um, that introspection is lost when I'm on a to-do list. I, I, cause life is happening all around this. And so I, I integrate. And when you take the time to integrate and map and choreograph, you then open up more possibility to your life and what can even be achieved. And you also start using the part of the brain that kind of allows you to be receptive to more ideas, some more God downloads, things that are going to be awesome and pertain to your overall well-being, growth, and achievements. So um, that being said, I wrote this down as a way, for, as a reference, and this is how I always do my um, week at a glances anyways, but I really made sure that I was a little extra detailed just so I would be able to write it over to on, onto my daily pages. So here is today. So I had to have this one already done, but I wanted to kind of have you help me as I go um, through the week. Um, one of the things I wanted to kind of share and, and, and about my day today was um, that I have a new routine, AM routine and PM routine. And I'm going to do that in another video. It'll take way too long for me to go over it. So I'm going to save it. So it'll be this week. And it's just I'm more time stamped to make sure that I can achieve more than I've been doing on days I don't have grandbabies. So I've really um, taken the time to, um, to do that. And I'm really excited about it. And I'll share that in another video. Um, so I really got through like talking about my morning routines. And then I have um, different things I needed to do. Um, and I, you know, made sure that I fed my kids, cleaned up, showered. And I did things all in a way that really helped me succeed and win the day. Um, I also knew what I was feeding them and I knew what I was feeding me. And I have a new eating plan where I... For lunch, I want to make sure that I really get my greens in. So I lunchtime for me is always going to be a salad with olive oil and vinegar. And so I made sure I had my greens. I had chicken and for a protein. And uh, I fed me and my husband that with cranberries and raw pecans and avocado. It was so delicious. Um, and making sure I drink lots of water. I've got my... I love this cup. Okay. I take it everywhere. It's a Starbucks. I'm starting to collect them. I am obsessed they have all these different colors and I'm just like, I want all of them. And my daughter works for Starbucks and I'm like, if you find the lavender one, you snag it immediately. I have this one. I have a couple of their other ones, but they're not the little, you know, diamondy ones. And so I'm in love with this. Uh, so I drew it here and I drink up to like four of these glasses a day, which they're 24 ounce, I think. So, um, Anyway, uh, these are the YouTube videos I'm doing today and I had someone, I had to do something here too. I like to kind of go and highlight it. Um, I use Faber-Castell pens here, Tombow here. Um, I just refreshed my new top with some, and bought some more Tombow pens. Um, you know what I like about those is that, you know, you can paint with them as well. I mean, so you can kind of like, cause they're water soluble. So you can kind of like swish here and then take a watercolor brush with water and kind of like watercolor. It's pretty awesome. So dinner, 
Um, I have my dinner plans, my cleanup, my laundry, and I have a new evening routine and I can't wait to share with you that in the other video, but I wrote all of that down. And so when I integrate this, it's just, I feel like a success before I've even done anything. I'm like, okay, this is a beautiful day. This is definitely moving the needle. This is doing and serving my family whom I love. I am making homemade meals. I'm feeding my husband something delicious for lunch. I'm carrying, I'm folding laundry, folding them and putting them away. I'm having having certain things that my children are doing. It's just something that I feel like, you know, um, this is good. This is good. Um, and so I like to gauge my life by, you know, in terms of, okay, I've got my study in with the Lord. Um, I'm taking care of my family here. I'm doing some me here. I've made some calls here. And it's just a little bit of where I'm just... I'm moving forward and I absolutely love it. Um, and I even had some ideas for 2022 and I wrote that kind of stuff down. So, and to bed by 10, no later. Um, and it was a warm today, day today and I was kind of bored about it. I was like, you're stupid. I want the fireplace on and a cozy sweatshirt on. This is so boring. I don't want to wear shorts today, okay? And Nebraska 66 is short sweater for sure totally shorts weather. I mean, shorts and flip-flops. So Tuesday, I've already started this too. Um, and I got a lot of this kind of down. Um, so what a new thing I'm also doing is when I have the grandbabies, I like to kind of have a main crux of what that day is going to be. So, and I'm going to show you in my morning and evening routines, kind of how I've also designated certain days to do certain things. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays is when I have my babies. And so those days I like to have a main event. Like, are we going to go to the store? Are we going to go to the park? Are we going to go to a museum, a learning activity, something structured? Um, I just prefer it that way and I think the kids do too. Some days um, I can't do it each day all the time but this week in particular I am and so what I even did in here is I wrote like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I wrote you know main plan and then I came back thought of some ideas and came back and visiting Santa is one of them at 3 p.m. and so I even got a confirmation I already bought my package and everything so I'm going to be going here um, at three with the boys. Um, and so that's kind of fun. And this one, the next day, we're going to, I'm going to take them out to eat and take them bowling because they love it. And then we're actually going to go to the park too, because it's again, it's 64 degrees. <laughs> and then this day, I'm actually, we're going to stay home and we're going to um, bake some pretzel mint chocolate type of little treats for Christmas. And I'm going to have the baby, the grandbabies help me along with my sons. So those are the main events there. And I'm kind of excited. And actually, while I'm on here, the 16th, the new Spider-Man comes out. Does anyone like to go see that? Do they have sons? Now, if I didn't have sons, I probably wouldn't be seeing it unless my husband dragged me, but I even doubt he would. Um, so we're going to see the Spider-Man movie at 9.50 PM. Um, my son was like, my 17-year-old son, he was like, Mom, uh, let's just go at 9.50. What's the big deal? I'm like, uh, I'll tell you what the big deal is. Usually I have my jammies on and I'm taking off my makeup and going to bed. I don't, I usually don't begin my night, all right? But I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be a party pooper. Off we go. So I got that in. So as I go to script more of the day, I have... I think about this. So what's nice, see, now, if I just went by this, a to-do list, I know that I've got to take Bella to a doctor's appointment at 930. But here, here are the, here are the, the, the things that you don't think about when you don't script is my boys are going to be home wondering what's there to eat while I'm going to take Bella at nine when I leave at nine. So I have to think that one through that they're not in the house, just, you know, pulling everything out, trying to find something to eat themselves and making a pit. So I, when I, so I, I went through my morning, I'm time stamping so I can get things done. I'm doing my chores here, um, cereal for the boys. And I'm going to have their bowls out with their favorite cereal and some spoons. And I keep cereal for occasions just like this, where I'm not making them toast with homemade you know, with my homemade bread and eggs, I can't, I'm not going to be here and they sleep in a little bit. So, um, cereal it is, and it's perfect for these kind of days. Um, 
So here I'm leaving at nine and then I'm gonna have to pick up my grandbabies later. I already talked to Abby about it. That's already scheduled and done. So I'd bring them home and then it'd be already be time for lunch to be around noon when I get back. So a salad for me, mac and cheese for all the boys. And then we would leave here at 2.30 to go see Santa. And so we would stay there for a little bit and look around and then we'd be home by five and I know what I'm doing for dinner. And then um, 7 p.m. is I'm taking boys home. And then I have, this is when I get on my jammies and then I get into the to the word uh, again and I play a game with the boys. I'm going to tell you more about why the madness, be the reason behind the madness for my p.m. routine. I'm kind of time stamping. You know, there's a lot of time in the evening and I know what it's like to just kind of like float my night and not have anything, you know, scheduled. And then I also know what it's like to be really, um, productive and um, satisfied with my evening. So um, I like being satisfied with my evening. And so I've really revamped the way I do my evening and it's been nothing but just sheer joy. I'll be sharing those details very soon. Oh, and it looks like something's already spilt on here, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay. So here I even pre-drew some things in here. Isn't it cute though? I like how it turned out. So that's my middle drawings. I like to kind of get that done in the beginning. Um, so my Wednesday, this is the day that I'm going to be taking the kids out and I'm going to leave open gaps so I can come back the night before and fill in some gaps and, and, um, see what I need to change or do. And I'm going to take them out to lunch and then take them bowling. And then there's a park right across the street from the bowling alley. So I will take them there. Um, uh, Okay, so um, I, I really kind of have this out where then I'll be, I really wanted to kind of time it so that since they go home at four, that I'm able to take them out to eat and to go bowling and then go play at the park and then drop them off. So that way I don't have to go all the way home and then go back out again to meet my daughter. So I'm going to come home then and uh, to get dinner ready. And I'm going to do chicken fettuccine and then I'm going to clean up and then I have my PM routine and I'm to bed by 10. So on these days where I've got to get up real early, I always get up at five, but I'm usually pretty lucky. Abby's husband usually can meet me later than seven and praise the Lord for that. I just, those early mornings are something. So Thursday, I have the last day of the week when I get those grandbabies and, um, my main plan was to bake with them. So um, one of the things I wanted to make sure I did um, is also it's my niece's birthday. So what did I have for dinner on Thursday? Meatloaf. Uh, it's an Italian meatloaf that I make and it's so good. And then I'm going to and then do my laundry, fold and put away, make sure it's all done. Every night I make sure that there's no laundry. Um, and I've been doing that for years now. And then I'm going to FaceTime my niece, Lucy, and sing happy birthday. <laughs> So that's fun. I can fill in this gap later. Um, I know for me, it's a salad. And then here, I always get up at 5 a.m. on the time I get the boys. And if I don't have to get them till later, then it's a bonus. coffee and Jesus half hour and then I read these are my confessions that I do I'll share with you more on how I structure my quiet time I actually go through the confessions of the word all of the scriptures that I am sowing to keep in my heart um, and that because uh, when you do that you really push all of the world um, out and you are renewing your mind with God's word. And so that's what I've been doing. So a half an hour, I just, I have, I'll, I'll share with that in my Bible stack video and what I'm doing. Um, and I do that for a good half hour. And then I will read my current book I'm in. 
I just, I read through books. And so I want a good half hour for that. And so I will immediately probably shower and then um, find out when I can meet, if it's going to be seven or later. And then I'll go into the chores uh, in this regard, dishes and laundry and uh, maybe even my bed made if, if, depends on what time and if my husband's out. And then... Um, Grab babies, and this is when I make sure that bed is made and laundry is swapped out. I always do that in the morning. And then I will feed everyone breakfast. I'll call them down, and then we will clean it up, and the kitchen will be closed. I'm so into that right now. It's like, don't even test me, you guys. Um, 5 a.m. To make sure you don't go up like I'm doing, keep your books straight. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what you got to do. So I keep forgetting. But um, breakfast, um, and then I'm going to clean up. And you know what? Kitchen closed until lunch. And snacks can be fruit and popcorn if we need it. Um, and then, um, I have lunch as a salad and I'll talk about this. And so this could be something I might do, um, in a science experiment with them, do some puzzles. I will take time to look over that for the main and fill that in the night before. For this one though, for the main thing I wanted to do with them today was to, um, bake these pretzel Hershey kiss mint cook uh they're not cookies they're treats but and they can take some home with them so i actually do don't even have the ingredients for that and i was actually going to do that today and i the banker that came over today took way too much time so I have to, I'm going to do that, I think, here after, before I pick the boys up or pick them up because after Bella's appointment, I've got a little bit of time before I pick up those boys. And I'm going to grab what I need. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick to it. I like to kind of underline those, those things. This will be perfect. Then, so here, this will be really fun. It's a bake day. in the kitchen. So we're going to be in the kitchen and um, meatloaf cleanup. So these babies will go home at four. Um, get dinner in oven. And I think I will in here, I will get meatloaf made and put in the fridge until dinner. So that'll be a great little hack. It kind of helps me. Uh, I necessarily wouldn't have even thought of that unless I was writing these things out of how I can be more organized with my time and succeed at it. Um, and then I'll do mashed potatoes. I mean, yum. So I will pop the meatloaf in and get the potatoes made. FaceTime Lucy and then this is when I do my Bible study and then I will play 
with the boys. And then this is when I also then do my journaling and my crocheting. It might even be done by now. I've been working on this blanket, doing it with my, like my, your hands. I can come back now and add to this, which is kind of fun. Friday. Oh, oh gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thursday, I actually have a nail appointment at 430. Which is fine. And then I will have my meatloaf all ready for me to pop in when I get home. So yeah. Okay, so then here is where I have, me and Anna are doing, and my mom are doing our Christmas together. So up at 6 a.m. Um, Confessions and then read and then my chores, which are dishes in, out, laundry. Um, so here for the boys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, first I have to dress cute. Probably going to write down my outfit here as well. Make waffle batter. I'm going to make waffle batter and I will leave the batter out with the waffle maker. And they know how to do their own waffles, which that'll work out fine. So that's what they can do for breakfast. while I go and uh, that'll be, I'm also gonna have to make pizza dough. I'm gonna stick it in the, I'm gonna let it rise once, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge So here, I'm actually going to do it here before I shower. Let it rise and get all that done while I'm showering and doing, then doing the waffles. And then this will be ready then for me to put into the fridge um, right before I go. Leave here at...
mom and Jenny and Anna Christmas. This is kind of a new tradition. Bring the gifts. Don't forget. Um, this is also when I'm going to bring Lucy's gift. Bring Lucy's gift too, because I'm going to be FaceTiming her the night before. And I want to make sure I give Anna the gift on Friday when I see her. So we will be gone up until four. Um, bring my main planner with me. Go over any over shopping I might want to do. Um, cause we're going to meet up at the coffee shop stories, meet there first. And then I have really gross pens with me and I don't even think this, oh, see these flares, they honestly don't last long the one thing that bugs. I'm a huge fan of uh, Faber-Castell. Huge fan. And Tombow's. Okay, so um, then when I get home, four o'clock, I want to be home by four. Uh, I'm going to be slipping into my jammies. And Get some pizzas in the oven. I will also allow just, you know, this to be, as I draw closer to it, I can also fine tune it. Saturday. And then this is my evening routine though. I really wanna get this done. I want to write this out. It's my cleanup, laundry, um, and then Bible study. Play game with boys, and uh, I can do my journaling and planning. Saturday is I have a hair appointment at 12.30. And I might want to go, our basement is almost done. I think we're going to run and look at furniture. I want that basement done by Christmas. We also need a billiard light. And bar stools. Some things, if I can't find, I'm gonna have to do Pottery Barn. And
I don't know. We might, even, we might not even have time to go, quite honestly. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. And then this is John Lucas's birthday. So excited. So we're going to go to an escape room. And then out to dinner. And so all my all my kids and their spouses will go. So that will be fun. And I definitely will want to add, I've got to bake a cake in here somewhere. Um, so I, I have to figure this part out. So you know what? I think for me the best time to bake a cake was when I'm already in the kitchen. And then freeze. So I'm gonna break his cake, put it, and then I can just frost it. So um, here's kind of like grabbing my attention of what I want to do that day. It's his birthday. Um, it's kind of fun. And then I'll get up early, do that, get my morning routine done. This will probably be around three, but I have to make this appointment and I don't know what it is. We also are still discussing what we're going to be doing for dinner. So I'm going to allow myself this room to come in here and come later and fill this gap up. I'm going to get my Faber-Castell pink pen and probably go across here. Um, but I feel like I've got a really, really good start on my week. And uh, it's, it's full of intention. It's got a lot of things that I am doing, but it's all... Uh, moving me toward what I want. Also, I do have allocated that weekends are for replenishing as well. Um, I, you know, don't, other than this, I mean, there's gonna be errands and things we run, but it's just a time where I'm not doing too much. Also, it is kind of a time when I uh, paint. So I'm gonna paint this morning on Saturday. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, there you have it, you guys. I am really all set up for my week. Thank you for watch, being with me today. And uh, until next time. <laughs>